Hello folks, Tiso here. So patch 1.3 has dropped and we are introduced to a new world boss, the Primo Geo's Bishop. To unlock this repeatable boss, go to the events tab and accept the quest. It will send you to an NPC south of Li Yue. Go ahead and talk to him and you'll be pointed to the actual boss location. The boss is located annoyingly far away from any teleporters, so I suggest making a portable waypoint if you plan to farm it. You get the recipe for this portable waypoint through Mondstadt's reputation. Now that we can reach the boss quickly, let's begin. The most devastating attack from this boss is the Primordial Shower. If left alone, it will do a bunch of damage. To counter this attack, you'll need to have a shield or run far far away. Here's this attack without any mitigation. At world level 7, it does about 8000 damage and it will vary depending on your defense and resistance. The game hints to counter this by using a shield and there are several ways to do so. You can apply an element to the boss and then hit it with Geo to crystallize a shield. The strength of the shield will be dependent on your Geo character's elemental mastery and level. Here's an example of me picking up a pyro shield against a water attack. Even with the shield, I still take almost 1200 damage. Now let's look at this attack again, but this time instead of a pyro shield, we'll create a hydro shield to match the same element as the boss. This time, the matching element shield is able to absorb the entire hit. If the shield doesn't break, the boss is also countered for some damage. You don't need to use crystallize for the shield either. Any shield in the game works. With a strong enough Diona, I can get her shield to block the entire shower and counter back. However, since my shield element and the boss do not match, the counter attack damage is quite low. To do the maximum return damage, your shield element needs to match the boss or use a geo shield. So here's my free to play tip to ignore this attack. Just spring Noel. Here I'm using a level 20 Noel against a level 91 boss. When I see the boss ready primordial shower, I just switch to Noelle and use her elemental skill. We see her shield is able to absorb the entire attack and counter the boss for good damage. How strong does your Noelle shield need to be? Not that strong at all. Let's take a look at her stats. Her E scales with defense and she only has 627. She also does not have bonus elemental resistance against this boss's element. My Breastplate skill is also at level 1. I just gave her all my artifacts with the most defense. I also used the Defender's Will set to get the extra 30% defense bonus. Her weapon is a level 60 White Iron Greatsword. This weapon also adds to defense which will improve her shield strength. So with a very minimally invested Noelle, I'm able to stop the boss's most devastating attack. To summarize, bring a character that can make a shield with the matching element, or bring a Geo character that can make a Geo shield. Your elemental choices are Diona, Beidou, and Xinyan. Ironically, they are the three rate up units for the Xiao banner. You could also bring a free to play friendly Noel or a Zhong Li. Now that we've taken care of the boss's strongest move, I'll go ahead and show you how to defeat him with a melee or ranged character. The reason why I'm splitting range and melee is because the boss behaves differently when you're far or close to it. He only does 3 attacks when you're far away. One attack is to dig underground and charge at you like a land shark. To deal with this, just walk in the same direction the boss is going and dash when he submerges entirely. Because I got too close, he's using his melee attacks. If you are using a ranged character, just dash or run away from all the melee attacks. He can also do a small breath attack. You can either run close to its side to avoid the breath or just run far away outside the range. The last range attack is to shoot out his elemental shards. The shards do not hurt you when it lands on the ground so you don't have to worry about dodging. After it lands, stay away from the shard to avoid the after effects. The shards have different effects depending on the element but you can avoid them all by just staying away from them entirely. All four elemental shard types end up doing damage around it, so just stay away and you'll be perfectly fine. From time to time, the boss will also use the primordial shower attack. Just activate with your shield with your shield character and keep on attacking. 
If you're using Beidou, you'll need to time her shield a little better to match the hit. And that's pretty much all the attacks from the ranged version of this boss. Simply stay away and the boss poses no threat at all. To fight the boss as a melee character, you need to do a lot more dodging and dashing. Good news is there is a partial way to cheese the boss by forcing it to use the same attack again and again. I will go over how to avoid every attack at the end of this video after the melee kill. The first attack we see here is the 3 hit combo that we saw in the ranged version as well. He will do this if you are in front of him. If you are at the side or behind the boss, he'll do his tail sweep. This tail sweep is the attack we are baiting. At first, this attack looks hard to dodge, but it will be easy after some practice. When the boss gets on all fours, you know he'll do the sweep. If you are point blank with the boss, you need to dash twice to get out. I tried many times to iframe this sweep and I couldn't get it to work, so I just avoid it entirely. If you are not point blank with the boss, you might be able to get enough distance with just one dash. So my trick here is to always be next to or behind the boss to force this attack. It becomes easier to avoid if you are looking for it the entire time. The boss also tends to stop moving after doing 2 or 3 sweeps in a row. I think there might be an internal cooldown to prevent the boss from sweeping non-stop. You might notice the boss does some other melee attacks once in a while. That's because I was not properly behind or at the side of the boss. But all his frontal attacks can be avoided with iframes. So as a melee character, just stay close to the boss and force him to use the tail sweep. When the boss uses primordial shower, I just shield up and continue attacking. This boss is mostly a battle of endurance. Now I'll go over all the attacks the boss does and how to deal with it. For his 3 hit combo, you can run and dash away to stay out of range, or dash to his side to avoid the follow up hit. Sometimes instead of doing all 3 slashes, he only does 1. This 1 or 3 hit string always starts with his right claw. 
You can dash to iframe through all three slashes, including the slam at the end. Another attack is the Tail Sweep. It does this when you are next to or behind the boss. I'm not able to find a way to iframe through the Tail Sweep, so you need to avoid it by getting far away. If you are point blank touching the boss, you'll need to dash twice to get out of range. If you are decently far away, you only need one dash to get out. You know this attack is coming when the boss crouches down on all fours. It may be hard to dodge at first, but you'll get used to it once you know the signals to look for. Its last melee attack is a quick swipe with its left claw. It reels back a little, then swipes out and in real quick. Since this attack has two hits, it's easier to dodge to the side. For the breath attack, you can either dodge to its side and punish while it's breathing, or run far away enough to avoid the breath entirely. If you are far away from the boss, it will dig underground and chase after you. Just casually walk in the same direction the boss is going, and then dash once you see it submerge. If it submerges really close or you feel unsafe, you can always just dash twice. The Primordial Shower is the attack I mentioned at the beginning of this video. It's also the boss's most devastating attack. It can use this 3 to 4 times throughout the fight. As I mentioned earlier, to counter this attack, you need a shield or run far away. Using a Geo Shield or a shield with the same element as the boss will let you counter back with more damage. My level 20 Noel with talent level 1 shield is able to stop the attack with only 627 defense. You can also stack different shields together to make them stronger. As long as one of those shields is the correct element, the boss will take the increased reflection damage. Its last attack are different variations of summoning shards. The element of these shards will match the element of the boss. However, you don't need to worry about them that much. If the boss launches them in the air, don't worry about dodging. It does not hurt you when the shards hit the ground. You can also touch the shards before it activates and it does nothing. When the shards activate, it will do damage around it. All four shard elements just does a different variation of damage. As long as you are not standing next to any shards, none of them will hit you. This is another one of those attacks that seemed quite difficult at first, but it's quite easy to avoid. Thanks for watching and sticking around. Like, comment, and subscribe if these guides are helpful to you. And as always, have fun out there, traveler.